This devotion is for the 9th of January, and our reading for this day continues a little further along in Exodus from yesterday, Exodus chapter 3, verses 7 through 15. Then the Lord said, I have observed the misery of my people who are in Egypt. I have heard their cry on account of their taskmasters. Indeed, I know their sufferings, and I have come down to deliver them from the Egyptians and bring them up out of that land to a good and broad land, a land flowing with milk and honey, to the country of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. The cry of the Israelites has now come to me. I have also seen how the Egyptians oppress them. So come, I will send you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? And he said, I will be with you, and this shall be a sign for you that it is I who sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall worship God on this mountain. But Moses said to God, If I come to the Israelites and say to them, The God of your ancestors has sent me to you, they will ask, What is his name, and what shall I say to them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. He said further, Thus you shall say to the Israelites, I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses, Thus you shall say to the Israelites, The Lord, the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and this my title for all generations. So, God calls Moses now um, to lead the people out of Egypt or lead them to freedom. And, and this, this is kind of the beginning of this story um, as, as we go along here. And, and certainly at some point we, we have probably seen some of this story in movie form, right? Moses, though, what, what I always kind of find interesting about this story is Moses says to God, no, 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 no. I'm not the one. Get somebody else. And the thing is, if we would keep reading, okay, we would see Moses and God kind of going back and forth with Moses coming up with all kinds of excuses. Right? I'm the wrong choice. Somebody else would do this better, etc., etc. Now, we know God wasn't given up on Moses. He just wasn't. Moses was the guy to do what God wanted to be done. And we also know what happened when Moses kind of finally dug, his, dug himself in and understood that he was going to follow what God had called him to do. Thing is, God calls us all to service in God's world. Just as Moses, we are called. And even if we give excuses, God will still call. My dear friends, it's easier to answer God's call the first time. Join me in Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. The Lord makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. You restore my soul, O Lord, and guide me along right pathways for your name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever.